Hello and welcome! I'm Kim, and together with my dogs, Bobby and Bilou, I live in my self-built camper van, and we are getting ready to travel Europe together. Come along, as we say yes to new adventures! Welcome back to another video from the Ardennes in Belgium and uh, we just woke up from an, an amazing night's sleep under that awesome bridge. We're going for a little walk because I need to walk the dogs. Then I want to visit the boulangerie because yesterday I got bread at the store in Luxembourg which is cornbread and that was that's just like a brick. It's not really good. So I want to visit a boulangerie for the last time. And then we will be going to Limburg in the Netherlands. And there is a beautiful natural park there that I'd like to visit. So I think we're going to go there first. And then we're going to go to my friends. And I'm going to take you guys along today. But first, we're going to have a little walk. Good night's sleep, really happy about that. It's so strange to think that this is the last day abroad. This is our last day of our trip. We're not home yet, but we're not gonna be, we're gonna be back in the Netherlands, so. It's so weird to think about. For a month we've been traveling and now it's over. It's over! But uh, yeah, we'll be back. I'm gonna miss the fresh air in the woods. I've been hanging out in so many woods that I'm really gonna miss it. I'm gonna go back into towns, cities, close to cities. I'm gonna miss the fresh air. But it gives me something to look forward to. Oh, you guys, where should we go next? Oh, I'm already so excited to start. I'm well, not really planning because I like to do things without planning. But to just start saving up and making sure we can go. Really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. So I just went to the last bakery of the trip and I got a um, baguette. <laughs> I was thinking like, what's the word? And I got a pain au, pain au chocolat and a croissant avec sucre. So a uh, croissant with sugar. 
So yeah, I'm really looking forward to those. I'm gonna put everything in its place. We're gonna hit the road. kind of a horrible road because we had to go straight through Lauk. I think the French word is Liège. I have to look up the English name for Lauk, I don't know. But like, it was horrible. I had to go straight through a city and then it said Peba, which means, I don't know why they say Peba, but that's the French word for the Netherlands. And then we got into the Netherlands and I'm like, yes, we're back home where it's nice and flat. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. Oh, I like that it's nice and flat. No hills around the corner. It's so funny. So we are going, we are now in Limburg, which is the Netherlands, but it's like a tiny little corner in the right bottom. And this is the only part of the Netherlands, I believe. Well, I've seen sort of hills already around Arnhem and everything and Nijmegen, but um, this is, I think, the only part that still has hills. So I'm now going past Maastricht. Maastricht. <laughs> and then we are going to a friend's house. So yeah, I'm really, I saw the Netherlands and I was like, yay! <laughs> I'm happy I'm back. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. Hey, you wonderful people. I am at the Brunsumer Heide with my two new friends. Hello! <laughs> Hello! I went to the house of my friends and they have three kids. And two of them joined us tonight to go to the Brunsumer Heide because they really wanted to join us. So we went in the van. We came here and we are now going to look around. They are having so much fun. <laughs> they are really... They have a lot of energy. So for me, being without any people for a, week, for a month and then spending the day with these kids was awesome but also super tiring but I can stay at their property night so that's gonna be amazing we are going to have a nice walk and enjoy ourselves and uh, then we'll go back to the property and hang out there tonight
Good morning, you guys. <laughs> this is gonna be our last day of travel. We just woke up. I'm tired. I spent last day, uh, yesterday, playing around with the kids, hanging around here, doing cartwheels, <laughs> going to the high dead to watch beautiful bloom uh, purple flowers. And I'm so tired of spending a day with these kids. It was so awesome, but kids are just awesome, but they just. I'm not used to being around people, so being around three kids <laughs> was, uh, yeah, was something. We are in Limburg, and we are heading back to my hometown today. But in Limburg, they are famous for their pies. So first, we're going to go to a pie store and get some pies. And hopefully find some rice pie. That's my favorite. So let's go. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Hey you guys! Oh, we are still in Limber. We drove into the woods I kept the door closed for a little bit because we've been driving so the air conditioning cooled the van down and it's really warm outside so this way I can keep the cooling for just a little bit longer but I'm gonna try the pie that we got so I have one all-time favorite pie which is rice to fly which means um rice pie <laughs> and um I got it in Limburg and my mother told me that they also had it in Belgium I didn't even know that but I think that Limburg is basically the only place in the Netherlands where you can still get it without uh, whipped cream on it. Everywhere you can get it, like in the Aubertine, with whipped cream on it. But then it gets way sh more sugary, way more sweeter. I don't like that. So let me show you how this one looks. But we get up and start from the ground. So we haven't had this without whipped cream in maybe like 10 years. I don't know, but a really long time. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's just pie with rice and cream and I don't know what's in there, but it's always really nice. So let's have a little taste test. Oh, oh, I'm destroying the entire thing. Sorry about that. Oh, yes. What's that? There's something weird with it. Wait. Let me check it out. It seems like they put like whipped egg on there. It's nice. It seems to be consisting out of two layers. A rice layer and like sort of merengue layer. I don't know. So this is the rice. And this is like, I think it's like egg. Egg white? I don't know. It tastes good though. I just don't remember it having that. But it tastes awesome. So here's what's going on. We just had the beautiful pie. I really like it. I'm so happy I got it. And we are still in Limburg. And I was thinking of going to a parking spot here. Spending one more night um, out. And just having so much fun. You know, trying to do stealth parking in the Netherlands. But I think it's good that I just go back to my parents' house. Because I thought I needed to work tomorrow. And I, it turns out I don't. So I have another day. So I thought, oh, I'll just have some more fun here. But I think it's good. I want to clean out the van. I want to wash the van. I want to check everything out, make everything tidy up. Everything I want to make everything tidied up. And then tomorrow I'll have one more day to relax and have to upload, have to do things. Because after that I'm going to be working for 
couple of days straight, so I won't be able to do anything. And um, for on the one hand, I was thinking, I was looking around like, oh, I can stay here, I can stay there. But what I kind of underestimated is that it's super hot, it's super dry. Um, it's gonna be thirty two degrees today, I think. So being at my parents' house with a cool house, I think will be very nice for me to do. So, yeah. I think this will be the last of our travel. I drove into this woods. Somebody said like, oh, this is so cool. You can um, park here. Well, this is just, I don't think this is a designated parking area. So it just hung, hung over for like a second and now we're going to leave again. But um, yeah, I think it's good to just go home. This will be the last thing that we did. <laughs> just because I thought I'll take the dogs for a walk in the woods. But it's so hot. They don't like to... We're just going to go home because there's a lake there. So we can go for a walk near the lake. That's what they'll like. They'll go in there. Yeah. So this will be goodbye to Limburg. And let's say hello to Zuid-Holland. So one thing you guys might not know is that I live in Zoetermeer, which is in the south of... No, it's in Zuid-Holland, which means south of Holland, which is not the south of Holland. Well, it's the south of Holland, it's not the south of the Netherlands. <laughs> That's such a confusing thing, but where I live, Zoetermeer, is very close to Gouda. And I think you guys know Gouda from Gouda. You call it Gouda from Gouda cheese. It's very close to uh, where I live and I'm almost passing Gouda and I was thinking, hey, that might be a town you guys know or a city. I don't even know. I think it's a city. We're almost home. My leg is hurting. It's super busy on the road. I haven't had busy roads like this for a while. Super busy. We're almost home. I thought I didn't have to work tomorrow because she said no. Now she said yes, real early. <laughs> so tomorrow I'll be working, which I think is good because I've decided sort of that I'm coming home. Home. I'm coming back here to work, get the funds, to get the hell back out of here. <laughs> really looking forward to it. It's now almost September. So I was thinking of not doing anything all September. And then at the 1st of October or somewhere in October, I would like to leave. At the time you're watching this, this is my last video of the trip. So by the time you're watching this, this is already almost October. You'll be seeing this by the end of September, which means by this time, as you're watching this, oh, <laughs> there was a little bump. So that means that by the time you're watching this, I already have decided what we're going to do. But I'm really looking forward, I'm really hoping that I can pull this off because like my funds are at zero at the moment, a little bit below zero actually because I couldn't, I didn't have enough money to get back home. So um, I have to pay a, a couple of bills also because I had the MRI, I have to pay some, um, some health insurance bills which isn't that bad as in America or something. It's just, I have to pay some stuff and then I can build up my little funds. And then hopefully I would like to have like, is that possible? I want to say 4,000 euros. I don't know if it's possible. If I would have 4,000 euros, I can stay away for a couple of months, maybe like five months. Is it? Uh, no for ah motorcycle freak out people are nuts there's a guy <laughs> sorry there's a guy in short shorts 
in a t-shirt on a motorcycle and he came up the highway and he went all the way four lanes to the left almost because there was this thing in the road almost like had a little squishy squishy and then he went back but like do you want to die and if you fall and you're wearing that what do you think you're gonna look like afterwards you idiot anyway people freak me out sometimes but um if i would have like three or four thousand euros I don't know if I can pull that off. I would really like to go for that amount. I can go away all winter. I could stay away all winter, I think. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make like a plan on what to do. I don't even know if I'm going to tell this to you guys. But I'm going to make like a little plan on what I can do. And hopefully have the entire month to figure it out and do it. And then I would like to leave, even if it would be like half of October, if I would leave, then still I could go away all winter, even if it would be November, that's okay. It's not going to be, it's going to be colder and rainier, but not like terribly cold. September, October are still pretty good months in the Netherlands. After that gets bad, it, get bad, that it gets bad. And if I want to go south, I also have to cross some places that it can be snowy. I don't really like to drive in snow, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> oh, you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome though. We are, by the way, crossing Gouda, Gouda right now. You can't see it, but it's over there <laughs> where they make the famous Gouda cheese. Yeah, you have to get off here and then you'll be at Gouda. Let me know if you guys like me to teach you some Dutch words. I know Nikki does it from uh, uh, Nikki Tutorials, Tutur I think is what it's called. I know she has like the Dutch word of the day. She'd like me to show you some, to teach you some Dutch sentences. Let me know. I can fix that for you guys. <laughs> we can learn Dutch together. That would be fun though. So much fun. So before I left, my phone was filled with footage and I had to clear it out to have enough space to go on our new trip. And now we're back. And again, the phone is telling me that it's getting fuller and fuller. So it's really full circle. We're back here without any money, with a phone filled with footage that I have to get sorted out. So. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures.